Hello, welcome to the Afcon series. For today, we talk about the pharaohs of Egypt. I don't know what I'm doing. Egypt are the most successful side in Africa. So they've won the Afcon for seven years, seven times, and no country has won it more than they have. Despite being seven times champions of Africa, the last time they won the trophy was 13 years ago in 2010. No player from that team back in 2010 is present 13 years later in 2023 in Egypt's squad for AFCON 2023. Despite not winning the AFCON in 13 years, they've actually gone quite closer to the trophy in recent years. Like in 2017 when they played in the final losing to Cameroon and then in 2021, the last edition, playing in the final and they're losing to Senegal. The Pharaohs have announced their squad for the AFCON and let's dive and get into Egypt's team for the AFCON. So for the goalkeepers, they do have Mohamed El Shenawi who plays for Ali um, in a team. He's of course the first choice goalkeeper. Also Ahmed El Shenawi, he plays for Pyramids FC. He's the second choice goalkeeper, has been for quite some time and he's present. And also Gabaski, yes, if you remember him from that is AFCON 2021, he's still present in this team. And the fourth choice goalkeeper is Mohamed Subi, who plays for Zamalek. For the defenders, they do have the experience Ahmed Hegaz. He currently plays for Al Etihad in Saudi Arabia. He is present in the team. Also, they do have Mohamed Abdul Momen, who plays for Ali. Mohamed Hani also plays for Ali, is also called up. Ali Gabro, who plays for Pyramids, is called up. Osama Galao is also called up. Ahmed Sami and also Mohamed Hamdi, they all play for Pyramids. And they have all received collapse for the Afcon. Omar Kamal plays for Future FC, and then Ahmed Fathu, who plays for Zamalek, have also been called up as the defenders for that is Egypt. In which they do have Hamdi Fathu, he plays for Awakra in Qatar. Mohamed Elneny plays for Arsenal in England, is also called up. Mawed Atia plays for Awali in Egypt, also called up. Ahmed Nabil Koka, who is the young star, plays for Awali, has also received a call up for the Afcon. Then Ahmed Said Zizou has also been called up. He plays for Zamalek. And Mahmoud Hamada, who plays for Al Masri, has also been called up. And the attack where the firepower for Egypt is has, of course, the first name, Mohamed Salah. He plays for Liverpool in England, has been called up. Omar Mamouche plays for Ajahn Frankfurt in Germany, also called up. Mustafa Mohamed, he plays for Nantes in France, has also been called up. Mustafa Fathi plays for Pyramids in Egypt, has been called up. Also, Trezeguet, he plays for Trabzonspor in Turkey, also received his call up. Then Mohamed Karaba, who plays for Ali, has also been called up. Ahmed Hassan Oka, who plays in Turkey, has also been called up. So, this is a very experienced team from Egypt, as only eight players are making their debut in the AFCON. That's a very small percentage, with a lot of them having played already in the AFCON. There are, however, some notable omissions from Egypt squad for AFCON 2023. Let's highlight a few of them. And Yasser Ibrahim, who had a very good season with Ali, he's a centre back. The centre back partnership of Mohamed Abdul Mumin for club side at Ali, but he actually missed the call up. Also, Abdul Mumin also got the call up. Then Hussein El Sahat, who plays for Ali, he also had a very, very good season with Ali in the Cup Champions League, also in the Egypt Premier League, but he couldn't make the squad for the call up. Ibrahim Andel was also the best player at the 2023 and the 23 AFCON. And he was also the captain of Egypt's under-23 team. He couldn't make the team because he was injured, but he was actually at the last AFCON. But this time, he couldn't make Egypt's squad for the Africa Cup of Nations. So let's predict the starting eleven for Egypt. And first of all, starting with the goalkeeper. Of course, I think no need to 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 talk a lot. Mohamed El Sanawi is, of course, the man who we think is going to start for Egypt. For the left back position, it, it, it it's a strong battle. But I think Mohamed Hamdi will get a starting slot to start at the left back. How's the right back will be taken by that is Mohamed Hani of Ali. He will be playing at the right back. For centre back pairing, I think it's gonna be between um Ali Gabro who plays for that is pyramids and then he'll be the partnership of Mohamed Abdul Momin who plays for Ali. These two men to play the centre back pairing for Egypt. In midfield we are expecting the resolute pairing of Mohamed Elneny who plays for Astra and also Hamdi Fathi who plays for Awakra in Qatar. Then in attack well Ahmed Said Zizou, of course, to maintain his spots at the left-hand side of Egypt's attack, whilst Mohamed Salah will be playing from the right-hand side of Egypt's attack. And then two men up front, the two men on fire, that is Omar Mamouche playing up front together with Mustafa Mohamed. So this is a very, very attacking team, and we expect Egypt to score lots of goals when they play against sides who are not disciplined defensively. 
for the AFCON Egypt to be campaigning in their country, that's in Egypt, and they also have a friendly match scheduled to be played against Tanzania. In the AFCON Egypt, this thing would be alongside Ghana, Cape Verde, and also Mozambique. Just like all the other groups, I mean, African football is very competitive now. So in Group B, we expect Egypt to have it very tough. But I think the biggest threats they have is Ghana, who they've actually found it easier to beat them in recent times in the AFCON. In the 2017 AFCON, Egypt beat Ghana in the group stages by one goal to zero. And in 2010 also, they beat Ghana by one goal to zero in the final. So I favor Egypt to be the team to win this group and also top this group. So to our prediction, well, Egypt is a very, very experienced side. They know how to play the AFCON as a team alone. And this team in particular is very experienced. Majority of these players have played not only at the AFCON, but they've also played in the final before. Even some of them have played in the final on two different occasions. So they know everything it takes to win the AFCON. That's why I think Egypt is going to be a very, very dangerous side in this AFCON. But our final prediction is at least a semi-final for this Egyptian side. And we think Egypt are the favorites to win this AFCON. So our best is Egypt to win AFCON 2023. But this is only a prediction. Tell us what you think in the comment section below.